Asteraceae, Wikipedia article audio. Asteroidae Lindley, Barnadsioidae Bremer and Janssen, Carjuidae Sweet, Sicorioidae Chevalier, Corumbioidae Painero and Funk, Fematinanthoide S.C. Freyer, Ariza and Painero, Gocnaceoidae Painero and Funk, Gymnaranoidae Painero and Funk, Hecastoclidoidea Painero and Funk, Mutazioidae Lindley, Perdioidae Painero and Funk, Stiffshioidae Painero, Wunderlichioidae Painero and Funk. Composite Giesk, Acarnaceae Link, Ambrosiaceae Birched, and J. Prissel, Anthemidaceae Birched, and J. Prissel, Aposeridaceae RAF, Arctotidaceae Birched, and J. Prissel, Artemisiaceae Martinov, Athanasiaceae Martinov, Calendulaceae Birched, and J. Prissel, Carduacea birched. And J. Prissel, Cassiniaceae sch. Bip, Sicoriaceae just, Coriopsidaceae link, Kinaraceae spin, Echinopaceae birched. And J. Prissel, Eupatoriaceae birched. And J. Prissel, Helichrysaceae link, Inulaceae birched. And J. Prissel, Lakshacaceae drood, Mutaceae burnet, Parthenaceae link, Perdicaceae link, Senecianaceae birched, and J. Prissel, Vernoniasa burmised. Etymology and pronunciation. Distribution. Source: Grin. Asteraceae or Composite or Sunflower family is a very large and widespread family of flowering plants. The family currently has 32,913 accepted species names, in 1,911 genera and 13 subfamilies. In terms of numbers of species, the Asteraceae are rivaled only by the Orchidaceae. Many members have composite flowers in the form of flower heads surrounded by involucral bracts. When viewed from a distance, each capitulum may have the appearance of being a single flower. The name Asteraceae comes from the type genus Aster, from the Greek sigma tau rho, meaning star, and refers to the star-like form of the inflorescence. Composity is an older name which refers to the fact that the family is one of the few angiosperm families to have composite flowers. Most members of Asteraceae are herbaceous, but a significant number are also shrubs, vines, or trees. The family has a worldwide distribution, from the polar regions to the tropics, colonizing a wide variety of habitats. It is most common in the arid and semi-arid regions of subtropical and lower temperate latitudes. The Asteraceae may represent as much as 10% of autochthonous flora in many regions of the world. Asteraceae is an economically important family, providing products such as cooking oils, lettuce, sunflower seeds, artichokes, sweetening agents, coffee substitutes and herbal teas. Several genera are of horticultural importance, including pot marigold, calendula officinalis, echinacea, various daisies, fleabane, chrysanthemums, dahlias, zinnias, and heleniums. Asteraceae are important in herbal medicine, including grindelia, yarrow, and many others. A number of species are considered invasive, including, most notably in North America, dandelion, which was originally introduced by European settlers who used the young leaves as a salad green. Taxonomy The study of this family is known as synanthrology. The name Asteraceae comes to international scientific vocabulary from New Latin, from Aster, the type genus, 
plus AC, a standardized suffix for plant family names in modern taxonomy. The genus name comes from the classical Latin word aster, star, which came from ancient Greek sigma tau rho, star. Characteristics Composity means composite and refers to the characteristic inflorescence, a special type of pseudonym found in only a few other angiosperm families. The vernacular name daisy, widely applied to members of this family, is derived from the Old English name of daisy, daegiseg, from daegiseg, meaning day's eye. This is because the petals open at dawn and close at dusk. Asteraceae species have a cosmopolitan distribution, and are found everywhere except Antarctica and the extreme Arctic. They are especially numerous in tropical and subtropical regions. Roots and Stems Composity, the original name for Asteraceae, were first described in 1792 by the German botanist Paul Dietrich Giesk. Traditionally, two subfamilies were recognized, Asteroidae and Sicorioidae. The latter has been shown to be extensively paraphyletic, and has now been divided into twelve subfamilies, but the former still stands. The phylogenetic tree presented below is based on Painero and Funk updated in 2014, and now also includes the monotypic Fematinanthoidea. The diamond denotes a very poorly supported node, the dot a poorly supported node. Leaves Barnaceoidae, 9 genera, 93 species South America, mainly the Andes Flowers Fematinanthoidea, South America, 1 genus, 1 species Mutazioidae, 58 genera, 750 species. South America. Floral heads. Stifshioidae, 10 genera. South America. Wunderlichioidae, 8 genera, 24 species. Mostly in Venezuela and Guiana. Gocnaceoidae. 4 or 5 genera, 90 species. Hecastoclidoidea, only Hecastoclis shockalii. Southwestern United States. Carduidae, 83 genera, 2,500 species. Worldwide. Floral structures. Perdioidae, 5 or 6 genera. 70 species Asia Fruits and Seeds Gymnaranoidae, 2 genera slash species, Gymnarana micrantha and Cavia tanguensis. Sicorioidae, 224 genera, 3,200 species Worldwide Corumbioidae, only the genus Corumbium with nine species. Asteroidae, 1,130 genera and 16,200 species. Worldwide. Metabolites. Evolution. Ecology. Uses. It is noteworthy that the four subfamilies Asteroidae, Sicorioidae, Carduidae, and Mutazioidae contain 99% of the species diversity of the whole family. Because of the morphological complexity exhibited by this family, agreeing on generic circumscriptions has often been difficult for taxonomists. As a result, several of these genera have required multiple revisions. Members of the Asteraceae are mostly herbaceous plants, but some shrubs, climbers, and trees do exist. They are generally easy to distinguish from other plants, 
mainly because of their characteristic inflorescence and other shared characteristics. However, determining genera and species of some groups such as Hieracium is notoriously difficult. Members of the Asteraceae generally produce taproots, but sometimes they possess fibrous root systems. Stems are herbaceous aerial branched cylindrical with glandular hairs generally erect but can be prostrate to ascending. Some species have underground stems in the form of codices or rhizomes. These can be fleshy or woody depending on the species. The leaves and the stems very often contain secretory canals with resin or latex. The leaves can be alternate, opposite, or whorled. They may be simple, but are often deeply lobed or otherwise incised, often conduplicate, or revolute. The margins can be entire or lobed or toothed. In plants of the family Asteraceae, what appears to be a single flower is actually a cluster of much smaller flowers. The overall appearance of the cluster, as a single flower, functions in attracting pollinators in the same way as the structure of an individual flower in some other plant families. The older family name, Composity, comes from the fact that what appears to be a single flower, is actually a composite of smaller flowers. The petals or sunrays in a sunflower head are actually individual strap-shaped flowers called ray flowers, and the sun disc is made of smaller circular-shaped individual flowers called disc flowers. The word aster means star in Greek, referring to the appearance of some family members, as a star surrounded by rays. The cluster of flowers that may appear to be a single flower, is called a head. The entire head may move tracking the sun, like a smart solar panel, which maximizes reflectivity of the whole unit and can thereby attract more pollinators. At the base of the head, and surrounding the flowers before opening, is a bundle of sepal-like bracts or scales called filaries which together form the involucre that protects the individual flowers in the head before opening. The individual heads have the smaller individual flowers arranged on a round or dome-like structure called the receptacle. The flowers mature first at the outside, moving toward the center, with the youngest in the middle. The individual flowers in a head have five fused petals, but instead of sepals, have thread-like, hairy, or bristly structures called pappus, which surround the fruit and can stick to animal fur or be lifted by wind, aiding in seed dispersal. The whitish fluffy head of a dandelion commonly blown on by children, is made of the pappus, with tiny seeds attached at the ends, whereby the pappus provides a parachute-like structure to help the seed be carried away in the wind. Genera A ray flower is a three-tipped, strap-shaped, individual flower in the head of some members of the family Asteraceae. Sometimes a ray flower is two-tipped. The corolla of the ray flower may have two tiny teeth opposite the three-lobed strap, or tongue, indicating evolution by fusion from an originally five-part corolla. Sometimes, the 3 colon 2 arrangement is reversed, with two tips on the tongue, and zero or three tiny teeth opposite the tongue. A ligulate flower is a five-tipped, strap-shaped, individual flower in the heads of other members. A ligule is the strap-shaped tongue of the corolla of either a ray flower or of a ligulate flower. A disc flower is a radially symmetric individual flower in the head which is ringed by ray flowers when both are present. Sometimes ray flowers may be slightly off from radial symmetry, or weakly bilaterally symmetric, as in the case of desert pincushions Kenactes frumanchii. A radiate head has disc flowers surrounded by ray flowers. A ligulate head has all ligulate flowers. 
when a sunflower family flower head has only disc flowers that are sterile, male, or have both male and female parts, it is a discoid head. Discus form heads have only disc flowers, but may have two kinds in one head, or may have different heads of two kinds. Pistolate heads have all female flowers. Staminate heads have all male flowers. Sometimes, but rarely, the head contains only a single flower, or has a single flowered pistolate head, and a multi flowered male staminate head. The distinguishing characteristic of Asteraceae is their inflorescence, a type of specialized, composite flower head or pseudonym, technically called a calathium or capitulum, that may look superficially like a single flower. The capitulum is a contracted raceme composed of numerous individual sessil flowers, called florets, all sharing the same receptacle. A set of bracts forms an involucre surrounding the base of the capitulum. These are called filaries, or involucral bracts. They may simulate the sepals of the pseudonym. These are mostly herbaceous but can also be brightly colored or have a scarious texture. The filaries can be free or fused, and arranged in one to many rows, overlapping like the tiles of a roof or not. Each floret may be subtended by a bract, called a palea or a receptacular bract. These bracts are often called chaff. The presence or absence of these bracts, their distribution on the receptacle, and their size and shape are all important diagnostic characteristics for genera and tribes. The florets have five petals fused at the base to form a corolla tube and they may be either actinomorphic or zygomorphic. Disc florets are usually actinomorphic, with five petal lips on the rim of the corolla tube. The petal lips may be either very short, or long, in which case they form deeply lobed petals. The latter is the only kind of floret in the carduity while the first kind is more widespread. Ray florets are always highly zygomorphic and are characterized by the presence of a ligule, a strap-shaped structure on the edge of the corolla tube consisting of fused petals. In the asteroidae and other minor subfamilies these are usually born only on florets at the circumference of the capitulum and have a 3 plus 2 scheme above the fused corolla tube. Three very long fused petals form the ligule, with the other two petals being inconspicuously small. The Sicorioidae has only ray florets, with a 5 plus 0 scheme all five petals form the ligule. A 4 plus 1 scheme is found in the Barnadseoidae. The tip of the ligule is often divided into teeth, each one representing a petal. Some marginal florets may have no petals at all. The calyx of the florets may be absent, but when present is always modified into a pappus of two or more teeth, scales, or bristles and this is often involved in the dispersion of the seeds. As with the bracts, the nature of the pappus is an important diagnostic feature. There are usually five stamens. The filaments are fused to the corolla, while the anthers are generally connate, thus forming a sort of tube around the style. They commonly have basal and slash or apical appendages. Pollen is released inside the tube and is collected around the growing style, and then, as the style elongates, is pushed out of the tube. The pistil consists of two connate carpels. The style has two lobes. Stigmatic tissue may be located in the interior surface or form two lateral lines. The ovary is inferior and has only one ovule, with basal placentation. In members of the Asteraceae the fruit is a keen like and is called a cypsula. Although there are two fused carpels, there is only one locule and only one seed per fruit is formed. 
It may sometimes be winged or spiny because the pappus, which is derived from calyx tissue often remains on the fruit. In some species, however, the pappus falls off. Cypsula morphology is often used to help determine plant relationships at the genus and species level. The mature seeds usually have little endosperm or none. In Asteraceae, the energy store is generally in the form of inulin rather than starch. They produce ISO slash chlorogenic acid, sesquiterpene lactones, pentacyclic triterpene alcohols, various alkaloids, acetylenes, tannins. They have terpenoid essential oils which never contain iridoids. Asteraceae produce secondary metabolites, such as flavonoids and terpenoids. Some of these molecules can inhibit protozoan parasites such as plasmodium, trypanosoma, leishmania, and parasitic intestinal worms and thus have potential in medicine. The oldest known fossils of members of Asteraceae are pollen grains from the late Cretaceous of Antarctica, dated to 7666 Maya and assigned to the extant genus Dasyphilum. Barreta, ETAL estimated that the crown group of Asteraceae evolved at least 85.9 Maya with a stem node age of 88 to 89 Maya. It is still unknown whether the precise cause of their great success was the development of the highly specialized capitulum, their ability to store energy as fructans, which is an advantage in relatively dry zones, or some combination of these and possibly other factors. Asteraceans are especially common in open and dry environments. Many members of Asteraceae are pollinated by insects which explains their value in attracting beneficial insects, but anemophily is also present. There are many apomictic species in the family. Seeds are ordinarily dispersed intact with the fruiting body, the cypsula. Anemochory is common, assisted by a hairy pappus. Epizoochory is another common method, in which the dispersal unit, a single cypsula or entire capitulum has hooks, spines or some structure to attach to the fur or plumage of an animal just to fall off later far from its mother plant. Commercially important plants in Asteraceae include the food crops Lakshika sativa, Sicorium, Canaris gallimus, Helianthus annuus, Smolanthus sunchifolius, Carthamus tinctorius, and Helianthus tubrosus. Plants are used as herbs and in herbal teas and other beverages. Chamomile, for example, comes from two different species, the annual Matricaria chamomilla and the perennial Chamomilum nobile. Calendula is grown commercially for herbal teas and potpourri. Echinacea is used as a medicinal tea. The wormwood genus Artemisia includes absinthe and tarragon. Winter tarragon, is commonly grown and used as a tarragon substitute in climates where tarragon will not survive. Many members of the family are grown as ornamental plants for their flowers, and some are important ornamental crops for the cut flower industry. Some examples are chrysanthemum, gerbera, calendula, dendronthema, argyranthemum, dahlia, tajits, zinnia, and many others. Many species of this family possess medicinal properties and are used as traditional antiparasitic medicine. Members of the family are also commonly featured in medical and phytochemical journals because the sesquiterpene lactone compounds contained within them are an important cause of allergic contact dermatitis. Allergy to these compounds is the leading cause of allergic contact dermatitis in florists in the U.S. Pollen from ragweed ambrosia is among the main causes of so-called hay fever in the United States. Asteraceae are also used for some industrial purposes. 
Marigold is common in commercial poultry feeds and its oil is extracted for uses in cola and the cigarette industry. Several members of the family are copious nectar producers and are useful for evaluating pollinator populations during their bloom. Centaurea, Helianthus annuus, and some species of Solidago are major honey plants for beekeepers. Solidago produces relatively high protein pollen, which helps honey bees over winter. Some members of Asteraceae are economically important as weeds. Notable in the United States are Senecio jacobia, Senecio vulgaris, and Taraxicum. The genera Chrysanthemum, Polycaria, Tajits, and Tanacetum contain species with useful insecticidal properties. Parthenium argentatum is a source of hypoallergenic latex.